Well, good morning, afternoon, good evening, no matter where you are in the world. Welcome back to the Thai Expat Daily Show. I'm your host, Kira Mack, as always, and delighted you've been able to tune in with us yet again for another show. Now, before we do get started, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and hit that notification bell so that YouTube will let you know when the next podcast or video is uploaded on the platform. And if you want to support the show, the easiest way to do it is to become a member. The link is down below in the description. And now that's all done and dusted, let's jump into the top stories trending here in Thailand today. Now, a quick update on a story that we brought to you a couple of days ago. The Thai embassy in Bern has confirmed that a 32-year-old Thai woman who had gone missing in Switzerland nearly a month ago has been found safe and well. Nantua Noon, who was traveling on a Swedish passport with her American boyfriend, arrived in Switzerland in early April. Her family reported losing contact with her on April 26th. The embassy launched a search for Miss Nantiwa after her family reached out in early May, posting a notice on Facebook seeking information about her whereabouts. According to Miss Nantiwa's sister, her last social media activity was on April 26th. Miss Nantiwa had met her boyfriend on a dating app just a week before her trip to Switzerland with plans to marry and move to the United States, her sister said. On Friday night, the embassy announced that the Swiss police had located Miss Nantiwa and her companion and informed her family. The embassy noted that the couple had left Switzerland during the search and stated that no further public comments would be made, expressing gratitude to those who assisted in the search. Details about their disappearance remain undisclosed. A Thai woman in Pattaya has gone viral on TikTok after sharing a humorous encounter with a sleepy taxi driver. In a video posted on May 21st, the woman, whose real name is not known, described how she called a taxi at 3am for a ride from Pattaya to Damwang International Airport. To her surprise, she ended up driving the taxi for most of the journey. She noticed that the male taxi driver appeared drowsy shortly after picking her and her friend up. At one point, he even briefly fell asleep while driving. Concerned for their safety, the woman politely asked if she could take over the driving. The driver agreed and moved to the back seat to sleep. The woman's friend recorded their unusual experience and posted it on TikTok joking. We drove ourselves from Pattaya all the way to Don Wong Airport with the driver sleeping soundly behind us. The video, which has been shared on Channel 7, quickly went viral. Many viewers sympathized with the woman's decision to take the wheel, while others criticized the taxi driver for his unprofessional behavior. As of now, it is unclear whether law enforcement or any relevant agency will investigate the incident or if it even violates the law. Two foreigners have been arrested on Koh Samui for riding motorcycles excessively loud exhaust pipes and making offensive gestures at local residents. Residents along the road to Chongmon Beach in northeastern Koh Samui initially filed a complaint with the Boput police accusing the tourists of disturbing the peace and potentially threatening public safety. They reported that the men rode their noisy motorbicycles at high speed up and down the road about a dozen times each day. Police advised that evidence was needed to support the complaint. In response, residents recorded videos showing the tourists in action, including footage of one rider making an obscene hand gesture. After receiving the video evidence via the police station's Facebook page, both put police set up a checkpoint and arrested the two tourists on Saturday morning. Both motorcycles have found to have unauthorized modifications and were rented from a shop in Phuket. Police in Pattaya arrested three security guards from an entertainment venue for assaulting two foreign tourists in Pattaya's Soy 6. The incidents were captured in a video that went viral again on social media. The video, first posted on May 26th, showed the guards attacking a tourist in a white shirt, punching and kicking him until he fell. When another tourist in a grey shirt tried to intervene, he was also beaten up until he lost consciousness. The Thai woman eventually intervened and bar staff provided first aid to the victims. Miss Samorn, a cashier at the bar, witnessed the incident. She explained that three tourists had come to drink, with two paying their bills, while the third, who changed seats multiple times, did not. When confronted, the tourist in the white shirt argued and used profanities, accusing the bar of overcharging. The guards were called when the tourist refused to pay and assaulted another tourist, trying to call the police. The guards, identified as Mr. Ball, Mr. Tom and Mr. Ice, confessed to the assault, claiming that they acted out of anger after Mr. Ball was attacked first. They apologized for their actions. Police who turned on 
Lieutenant Colonel Nawin of Patia Police Station reprimanded the guard, stating that the role is to ensure safety, not cause harm. He emphasized the importance of restraint and proper conduct to maintain Patia's image as a tourist city. Uh, CCTV footage of the incident has been submitted for evidence. The uh, security cards are going to be prosecuted as per the law. The person behind the viral clip of a man resembling John Wick in Thailand has been identified. The video featuring a foreigner looking like Keanu Reeves' character selling coffee and grilled squid has garnered over 4 million views. On May 27, a Kausud online revealed that Ms. Kanchila Prama, known as Tuk, posted the clip. She lives in Klan Dong in Pak Chon district and is married to Andreas Kallius, a German who resembles John Wick. They met on a dating app and have been married for four years. Tuck shared that Andreas, nicknamed Wunsen, or Glass Noodles, originally had blonde hair. His transformation into a John Wick lookalike happened during a German carnival event. Since then, people frequently ask to take photos with him, and he has been contacted for events due to his resemblance. During their visit to Thailand from May 13th, people often mistook Andreas for a celebrity, took posted videos of him on TikTok, which went viral. Andreas enjoys the recognition and appreciates the warm reception from Thai people. Earlier, Mr. Mark, a noodle stall owner in Bangkok, recounted how he and his wife were stunned by Andreas' appearance. They even had him help wash their dishes at their stall, which he did willingly. So as we conclude today's episode, I want to invite you to share your thoughts in the comments below. This show isn't just about delivering news, it's about fostering a conversation. Your insights and perspective matter to me. So keep the dialogue alive, like this video, subscribe to our channel and share it with others. Your support means the world to us. I'm Kira Mack, you've been tuning in to the Thai Expat Daily Show. Until next time, take care and stay engaged.